Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com, and I'm here today to show you perfectly clear, complete version 3.5, and this time I'm running it in the standalone version. I've used this product quite a bit in other videos, so I encourage you to check those out. But I have eight images here, and I wanted to show you that in just a couple minutes, I can have all of them quickly edited to my satisfaction. So for this one here, I'm going to click Vivid. You can see right off the bat, before and after. Let's look at it a different way. Before, after. Let's go back to this view. Next image. Like the way the intelligent auto worked, but you know, I want a little bit more vivid color. I could try vivid like that. I could also come down here to landscape like that too. Both of them look great. For this here, I really liked this image, but I felt like it was a little washed out. And again, let's go down here to landscapes and boom, got the reds the way I like them. Nice uh, saturated colors, awesome. For this shot here, I really like the environment. I really like this uh, beautiful model that I had. And, uh, but I wanted to do a little quick skin editing. And so I came down here, clicked on beautify, looks good. Try beautify plus. Even better, got rid of the circles underneath her eyes. Let's go over here. Four, after, four, after. Big difference. Now the color is a little bland, so I want to quickly uh, do something to enhance those colors. So what I'm going to do is come down here to color. And click on color vibrancy. And just boost that up a little bit. And wow, big difference. And exactly what I wanted. No time flat. For this image here, it came out uh, pretty good right out of the camera. If you look at the before and after, you know, there's really not much that it needs. But I wish the colors just were a little bit more vibrant. Again, go back to trusty landscape. Boom. No problem. Really quickly and easily. For this shot of my son, yeah, he's a teenager, got a little acne. But you know what? No problem. Just come over here, come down to Beautify, knock that out. Not too overdone, but if I wanted to dial it back, I could always come down here to the skin softening and kind of pull that back a little bit. Now, the image looks good, but I wish it wasn't quite so pale. Uh, so come down here to looks, and I get to keep all these effects, but also add a little on top of it. So to look, I get the nice warm tone that I like. If I thought that, you know, maybe it was a little too much, I could just dial the strength back a little bit and get it just the way I like it. Now, his teeth look a little yellow because of that, so I can come over here to teeth whitening and just brighten them up a little bit. So, you know, his eyes got improved, his teeth got improved, all because it had automatically detected his face and made all those changes for me. For this shot here, I really like this uh, shot of my wife playing the piano. You know, it brightened it up. It's kind of a dark shot out of the camera because of the backlighting, but it filled it in nicely. And so, you know, I decided that I'd really like this one to be black and white. So again, I come down here to my looks, go click on this newspaper print and got exactly the look that I was looking for with a single click. And for this final image, it was a uh, kind of a foggy day, and you know this pathway just kind of looks a little bleached out. And you can look at here, and it's a little bit better to begin with, but not quite what I'm looking for. So again, come click down here on landscape. Perfect, exactly what I was hoping to have. Where the uh, it feels like just like when I was there, that the, everything is nice and vivid and rich colors, but then I still preserve the fog without overdoing it. This has been robertblog.com. Thank you for joining me. Please visit my blog for my full review and a discount. Thanks. Bye.